She's a wolf in mouse clothing. Ah! The mouse's ghostly howl stakes claim to ha ah! 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 Honey, I just can't get this darn thing clean. Well, Bee Boop, have you tried Nevin Rule's disc and shine? What's that? Nevin Rule! Disc and shine for that apocalyptic clean! Longer lasted shine! Baby forever! Nevin Rule's products available at all Secret Super Source products made in Super Sin Evil. Nevin Rule's products not responsible for actual apocalypse. Hello and welcome to the new show, the new backdrop, the new lights. Everything's kind of new today. So we got a lot of experiments going on. I got a new camera too. I wasn't happy the last couple of weeks with my camera, the quality of it. I ordered it and I uh, kept tweaking with it. Still didn't like it. So Popper Tim and Shirazaman joining me this fine morning. We got new curtains in here. It's all dark. I got like, I think good lighting. Um, looked okay to me. Um, oh, you got a new keyboard. Nice Shiraz. Yeah, so I got all kinds of new swag. Uh, got this cool banner of um, God. What is that? Uh, something's uh, resurrection, or uh, I forget. My son always beats me with that card, but um, I've always liked it. It hung over our old comic shop, and they were selling it when we were looking for uh, birthday gifts. And so, uh, yeah. Anyway, so um, gonna be playing. I just call it Dino Smash. It's known as Ponza. I'll probably list it as that, but this just keeps it clear to me who it is. But Tomato Cheese went 5-0 and oh with this, and I really like this build, mostly because of the sideboard. But um, yeah, we're going to we're gonna check out this uh, Cascade here, which I'll tell you, seems to be like the new crusher of the metagame. Um, I even had a Tron pilot come playing yesterday, like, oh, you're playing that. And I'm like, I didn't catch the flavor of the month that that was the... <laughs> <laughs> way it was but uh anyway um yeah we got El Owen Sapphire's birthday my son Aaron um he pulled a mana crypt and I mean like one of the worst cards he got out of that uh double masters was a expedition map like foil border to border new art and stuff and it's $15 I was like what for a you know for that but I guess a lot of formats need it anyway off to the list here guys but this is all courtesy of tomato um What's his name? Tomato cheese online. So we've got 20 lands. There's, um, let's see, we've got three highland forests, three mountains, and the rest, as you can do the math, are 14 forests. We've got an old school lightning bolt, arbor elf, utopia sprawl, wild growth. Uh, this usually falls into a card draw with all four bonders ornament and land of war visionary is kind of our card draw or the uh, two copies of Entourage of Trust. We've got the Boarding Party with Cascade and Anoid Altasaur with Cascade, Packmate, which draws cards, and this, which ramps and disguises itself as land destruction. I'm finding it seems to be just the perfect amount of land destruction. It's kind of like a pithing needle. You spot and go. So, yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, last week we had quite the show. I think it's set a personal record as far as like, I think in like four or five days, it got 2000 plus views. I was like, whoa. So people really liked the uh, word char belcher, but that was a pretty fun list. Hopefully we can go for one or better this week, too. We've got th uh, three blazing volley on the sideboard, mostly because uh, electricity won't work with Cascade if that comes to play. We've got uh, one gorilla shaman. Now check this tech out. Blow your house down. Yeah, let's all take a moment and read that, right? Up to three target creatures can't block this turn. Destroy them if they're walls. It's like, whoa. Two cannonades, uh, three coming verse. I can tell just by the sideboard, this deck is uh, has a problem against walls and hexproof. Uh, we've got Weather the Storm and maybe some burn here. And Inside Out for another little cantrip and uh, wall destruction. So, uh, yeah, Blow Your House Down, some pretty interesting tech. I tell you, I saw that and I was like, that's pretty cool, especially that it uh, 5 would So we're going to go over here. I do expect some quitters today. I've uh, been running into quite a few lately, and we'll see how this goes here. But, um, yeah, it's a really cool list, courtesy of, like I said, Tomato Cheese. Hmm. And I've been doing so well with it privately. I'm thinking of maybe even trying it in the uh, tournament because it's a lot of fun to play. Unlike last week, we do want to go first here. We'll say yes. That's eh, okay. We've got a ton of ramp. We'll find our goods. Bit flooded, but I'll keep it. 
mostly because of that uh, promising acid moss there. We'll lead into a grotesque white border here. The only time you'll probably ever see me playing this, but good morning, little fight. Yeah, so, you know, the kid was set up. But like I said, I returned the camera, got got my old standby favorite new one and uh, new new studio lights. If I tilt my head way up high, you'll see the, um, the little ring here. It's up above. It's giving me a little bit of a, a glow, but not too much so, I hope. Alrighty, let's do this for red. I'll do this for this. I'll say green. And I think that's only three, right? Yep. Okay. We'll untap there and we'll have a lot of fun next turn. What's cool about Cascade is if they counter it, then the second Cascade effect usually comes out and can sometimes be just as problematic or more so than the first. So we don't have to really worry too much about that. And here we go. So we've got three, five, six. That'll get us there. Let's just have some fun. Well, it's probably going to get a hard counter, but we're at least going to get something else out of it as we click very gently through the Cascade triggers here. Seems like a lot of math hits Cascade to me, but the deck is obviously great. Yeah, I've been pretty shocked at how good it's been. Because um, I've been able to just kind of beat it here and there. And uh, it's a, and that's probably like the worst thing we could have got, right? We're a little bit flooded on uh, dorks here, but um, yeah. All right, we'll call red. Is it going to work? Is it going to work? It worked. Huh. Maybe they just have fairies. I don't know, but we're going to smash in for six. Yeah, it's uh, this one got a 5-0, and like I said, I liked it because of the di super diverse sideboard and just really neat uh, choices. And I sleeved it up. It's not cheap. Um, I think these these and the dinosaur are like pretty much two tickets each, and that gets a little uh, little painful. Oh, I don't know. I think we go after the swamp here. Let us see. We've got a nice opening. We'll see. I guess it's all just draw dependent here. Alrighty, that's three, four, five, uh, one more and we could do that, but I want to sneak this out while I can. Let's get out the Trest, get the Monarch, it's a 4-4 four, four body after all. Is this your dream? It feels like it, I'll tell you, I, when I sleeved it up I was thinking I would win about 70% of the time and I'm not joking, I have played 14 games with this and I've won every one of them. They've all been just casual games and stuff, but they've all been against pretty good decks. So, um, had just and out of that, maybe two close calls. It's been pretty remarkable. So, um, if this keeps up, I could see something. I'm not. I don't think it deserves banning because I think it's pretty easy to figure out since it's creature based and such. But it just has a really neat tempo variety. It, the, the spot land destruction, as you're going to see here, is feels perfectly placed when it happens. I uh, kind of wish I had something a little better here, but I'm just going to smash. I'm going to come out here, and it's like an embarrassment of riches at this point. All right, we'll bring out Arbor Elf. We've got Edict Bait here. Yeah, I want to pay without paying its mana cost. There we go. All right. Be cool if I had that in tow, but oh well. I guess we'll just do this. Come over for 10. Bam! I just hope we don't get any quitters today. So he's probably going to kill the Elf, steal the Monarch. We're all right with that. Tempting to use the Acid Moss there, but it's more tempting to get him to four life. And there's the Annoyed Dino. That's my least favorite part about this. If that was exactly the same card and it didn't say Dinosaur, I and the artwork was a little different, I would be fine with it. But how am I looking in... Uh, mostly looking, guys. I, I know I'm sounding okay because my mic hasn't changed, but um, you dig in the new light scheme. I've, I've got new curtains. i got new pretty much new everything, so... Well, we don't really need anything. We're kind of pre-built against this. Um, yeah, I don't think I'm going to bring in anything here. Let's just submit, as in submit to victory. Yeah, I've got uh, my my worry about keyboards. I use uh, remote keyboards, and you know they're battery powered. So I'm I've always I literally have a, back, a pack of batteries right here in case on the show. You know, because when they go bad, fa they go bad really fast. Looks good. I think the lighting was a little harsh last week. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing, and it was my camera too. I just couldn't get the uh, the quality right. So uh, if we all like this, then I'll just. This is how it's going to stay. I mean, I could, there could be a lunar eclipse out. It could be midnight. It could be noon with the sun right on the house, and it, it's not going to uh, show the way I've got it set up now. So it is a little bit of a slow roll here. We'll keep. 
lead off with an elf and hope for the best here. That elf's not going to live too long. But what's cool, it leans on the elf and it allows for explosivity, but um, it also acts as kind of a red herring or a uh, standard bearer in green, being that people are so afraid of, you know, those those quick issues. A lot of times they use their only removal on it, thinking that, you know, you're, you're mana screwed or something. And this deck got pretty even mana, pretty even everything. It draws good. It attacks good. Blocks good. It's got pretty nice sideboard. So, yeah. But I watch him for 20p. And Shiraz, <laughs> you've got to be like the most Luddite version of a um, person on Twitch. <laughs> I remember hearing about your phone and how like kind of Flintstones tech it was. But that was like over a year or two ago. I think you and I were chatting on Facebook about that. But all right. Well, we don't really have much to do here. I might as well power out something of relevance here. We'll get this out. And don't forget, this always adds mana too. So... That's good times. Paladin 19. Sorry if I missed giving you a shout out there, my friend. Thank you for joining me. And I know the uh, we're going to have a very low view count today just because I think the Magic Championships start in like 50 minutes. Who knows? Maybe we'll have already won by then. That'd be pretty funny, right? One, two, three, four, five. I guess we could just slap out Trest, right? Or do we just go for go for the pump here? Um, hmm. Eh. Let's go for the pump. He wants to come on now. All right. Well, a little underwhelming. Here we go. Colorado has entered the chat. Oh, MTM Tat. Oh, MTM Tat. I'm going to be in your neck of the woods. I'm visiting family in Colorado on early April. I'm going to. There's a card shop, and you're near the uh, Denver area. Maybe we can meet up with masks. <laughs> a weird world, huh? All right, we got a nice target if we draw the Acid Moss, but I think they're either off of counter magic or they're being incredibly patient with it. Gruel Cascade, Clapton Vlad Tapas. Very nice. Well, we really want our enchantment there, but we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Here's seven. If we count it up right, folks, one, two, three, four, five, six, and we'll do this to this. Who needs enchantments? That's what I mean. This deck just gets pretty unfair pretty fast counter this. Uh, well, that kind of sucks. But hey, at least we've got a nice target for our uh, elf next turn, right? I guess we'll call red. Total escape. I want more comics. Wizard's Chester and Black Gold. <laughs> oh, are those the places? Very nice. All right. And that one, unfortunately, does not have haste. His pirate friend does. Yeah, I've got to get Sapphire, also known as my son, and Aaron out of the house. He makes me look like a busybody as far as going out and about and stuff. But, uh, man, this deck just, it's like, oh, oh, no, it's a flyer. Oh, we have reach. It's like, and that was the problem last week, if you remember me talking about. Um, all right, so that's kind of how these things have been going. I mean, it's no slouch of a deck that we just faced really good card choices and such, and it's just an embarrassment of riches with this thing. So, no, I am not skiing. Um, my brother and I are huge fans of... I'm going out there to visit him and my mom. Um, she moved out there because he he got a job out there. And uh, but we're huge Aerobi fans. That flying ring that's kind of orange. Well, it come in different colors, but uh, we've been playing that since I was like eight. And we're uh, we're pretty adept at it. I, we can hit each other from about two football fields away repeatedly without taking a step. Um, we've we've got a lot of practice, but it's a very therapeutic, fun thing to do. <laughs> And uh, we, we usually go out with uh, sometimes a few beers or something and find a cool glen and just nice shade or whatever and just have a good old time. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm uh, that's probably if, if I had a real life resume, I would literally have to probably put down that because it's a stupid thing to be really good at. But <laughs> me and my brother are pretty, pretty rocking at, at Aerobi. I wish it was stocks or something relevant or uh you know, something that could parlay into a, like real money, but um, it's a lot of good times. And if you haven't tried one, it's like, and it's so funny. They have like, I, we call it 80s rollback pricing. They haven't changed the price of those things no matter what. It's like the influx of just whatever currency you're on. What, it's always been like 10 bucks, 10 bucks, like USD. It was 10 bucks in 1985. It's 10 bucks now. And 
uh, yeah, just keep them out of the sun. And uh, I tend to like to bend them down twice before each throw. That seems to really make them fly straight. Depend doesn't even depend on the model. It just those those are all kind of the same. So. Anyway, uh, I think words got out. I'm on this list and nobody wants to play me. But yeah, I'm telling you guys, this list, um, it's a bit pricey. Um, I can see why. You know, I think Trest is maybe a ticket, but but these, the boarding party and the Altasaur, I was a little shocked. I was like, whoa, they're like, you know, $1.80, $2 each or whatever. But you'll make it up in one, one league, I would imagine, the way this thing's been playing. Um, I don't think if, uh, if what I'm seeing keeps going... Um, or we go 5 out a day and then I do good in the challenge or, you know, I might take it to a league or whatever. Uh, it seems like, you know, and I've aimed at it too and you just, just keep missing. And I just, there's just, I mean, look at the draw on this for green. You got draw, draw, draw. Let's see. Uh, this is draw. This is draw. This is draw. And this is draw. Lightning bolt and uh, your enchantments that help power stuff out. And, that, you know, that's uh, edict bait. So it's it's uh, pretty cool. Oh, yeah. Bonner's ornaments up there too. But uh, as far as the cards I... I just didn't want to buy a dinosaur, but I couldn't ignore how good this deck was doing, and um, it's a bit aggro, so I was like, you know what, I'll go for it. But it does look like uh, walls could be a bit of an issue here, so uh, according to the sideboard anyway. But So yeah, man, I got new crane arms for the cameras, and all righty, well, that, that's unfortunate. We're obviously not going to count that as our opponent runs away, run away. Okay, screen, what's going on here? I didn't want to get a 2-0 like that. We won't count that one, obviously. <laughs> They're probably realizing, oh, that's the show guy, and I don't want to be on camera for this. So as they go grab, like, maybe Burn or some super hateful list. What was I going to say? Oh, yeah. So there's some championships going on. Yeah, we've got... Oh, what was that? Um, instant uh, deals four damage to target creature. Yeah, but check out... I mean, this, this tech for Blow Your House Down... And I have to say, I had to look at this card, and that's very rare that I have to look at a card, but... If you're going up against a walls list, I had to—I got to admit, I didn't even know this was a thing. I—I uh, I guess if I had a walls matchup and I was in red and I was tired of it, I would probably have eventually found this. But um, yeah, that—that that second line of text destroy any of them that are walls. Cooper the red in the house, writing. What was it? Bump in the night. Yeah. Oh, so I and I also found the problem. You notice about. I don't know, maybe one or two of our commercials each show, get about five seconds in and there'll be a little bit of a digital hiccup. And it's because I had so much media loaded on my um, Streamlabs. I, I think I have 445 videos loaded. Yes, I've cut that many over the years. Um, and my idea was that once I get them all loaded and named, I'll be able to just select my show through there and I won't have to go searching, but it was overriding it. And uh, so I simplified it, went back down to everything and hey, it's solidified. All right. So we're a wee bit screwed here, but it's okay. We'll pull out of this. All right. We'll keep this. That's another theme too. Notice we just keep, 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 keep. But thank you for coming to the rescue, my friend. If you see this later, which I doubt he will. He sees enough of my mug. Little fight's usually on burn. Bum, bum, bum. Okay, here we are. Bop. And we've got these beautiful forests looking at us all day long. Pretty nice. We'll go like this. And you know what? I'm going to call green with this hand. We can, if we get really screwed, we can at least double sprawl next turn with that line of attack. So looks like we're up against burn. So. I would assume. I've seen if I has a pretty cool vampires list that I've seen before. Alrighty, that's a card we don't want to see. These amplifiers can be a pain, but we've got weather the storm in the side, so wouldn't that be fitting if we get bested by it, right? All right, well here's the plan. Stan, we're gonna go all in with this. It's a bit clunky, but we'll go like this, and then this one we'll call red. Might have wanted to call another one red in case a uh, chain lightning comes up, but that scenario is pretty unlikely with Thermal Alchemist, unless it's like three or four turns from now, which either we'll be dead or we'll be drawing a forest and being okay. But keep a one lander. I guess some once in a while some bad things can happen on this list. Uh-oh, we don't like to see that. I'd give Little Fight the overwhelming advantage here. Double boosters here. That's pretty scary. Alrighty. Well, we've got a three power creature that draws. I'm going to play it. Just going to cast it. I rarely use the foretell mechanic on that. 
let's draw land, please. Nope. All right. Well, we're one card closer anyway. And at least this way, it can't be blocked. So, But it's probably going to eat a uh, Searing Blaze. If I was to guess. Had a nice uh, evening out last night. Friend of a friend's son invited us over for a nice evening of darts outside with cool little fire pits and stuff. It was pretty nice. Yours truly won every single time. I've got quite a bit of darts background. I was raised in casinos and bars, so all those parlor games, they tend to be have a little bit more time invested in those. So if you want to play in a bar or throw in a roby, I'm your guy. Other than that, look elsewhere. Yeah, I've seen, um, in fact, I think uh, Alex Olman just came out with a, or shared somebody's list of like um, Urza Tron slash Cascade Mold Drifter. I wasn't a big fan of that list. It looked like it was trying to just do too much. And I'm like, what? This one doesn't lose so far. I don't know what the problem is. It's already got an embarrassment of riches and does everything. I've seen some that throw in black for, uh, uh, what is it, the Thorn of the Black Rose and such. But all right. Well, looks like Little Fight might have our number here. We'll do the same thing. Cast into this. It'd be nice if we draw a land. Nope. He's going to get us this turn. We'll yield three cards in hand, two amplifiers out. We're as good as dead here. But it took keeping a one-lander and a fast deck like Burn to do it. So ah, let's start thinking about what we're going to take in and out. And the other cool thing... You bring in enchantment hate, well, on this hand it could hurt, but normally it doesn't. You bring in artifact hate, it's really the only thing it hits. You bring in creature hate, there's quite a few creatures. Can't really, maybe COP red and green might be a thing. But you slowly just start dumbing down things to such a degree that I'll put the L down right now. <laughs> I think we're going down here. Elspeth's Vengeance, isn't that the art or... Um, my son would just be rolling his eyes right now. I keep forgetting it. But all right, good for him. Metal Fight takes us out with extreme prejudice as the Thermal Alchemists throw their searing spice. Not very nice. Conquer's Death. That's it, Captain Vlad Tippis. Apologies. It's one of those non-common cards, so I usually won't know it. All right, kill me already. Okay. In comes the super hate. I'll just make sure that we keep a uh, hand. I'm going to bring in the uh, inside outs too. Those are going to be pretty good against alchemists. Um, I really want that. He doesn't have many creatures. The acid mosses can probably go. We'll get rid of all of these and maybe one ornament. Let me look real quickly here. Yeah, we'll get rid of one ornament. We'll go like that. So this can handle the thermal alchemist and this can handle the... Uh, Soaring life total. Let's try that. That's good alchemist tech. Yeah, good good for walls. Never a dead card. Draws you out of it. That'd be funny if it can save like a boarding party. They lightning bolt it. You're like, aha! <laughs> Gonna have to use two of them now. Oh, and we got our cool little burn promo. And I'm, I'm at the ready, guys. I ain't joking. We're gonna burn some white-bordered cards pretty soon. Got a nice little video for it. At the break, we're going to be uh, going to an old favorite today. We've got our gin and tonic as our first one. Then we got the uh, um, Prejudice Against Astronauts spot in Orson Welles. So, yeah. What I like to play first. Yes, this is not last week. Okay, we've got some good stuff here. We will keep this. Ha! <sighs> Lead out with the Auburn Oaf. Burn white bordered circle of protection red. I know. Wouldn't that be funny? Wouldn't it be funny, too, if we tried to light a COP red and it, it just didn't work? Just, like, had, like, fire retardant on the card. It's a little too meta, but, hey, I'm just an old man that likes this game too much. Thanks for joining me, everybody. I'm surprised we got this many viewers with the championships and such, but we shall see. You can go check out our YouTube page, and um, I think it's under the community or something like our fan, or not fans, our friends. Um, there's a lot of really good streamers out there, and as I find them, I put them in our little share chat thing. So if you're tired of seeing my bald head, go check them out. Give them some love. Let's see. 
Small world. Okay. I'm not going to get too greedy with this. We'll do this to this, and I'm just going to bring out the pack mate and go for it. Well, I guess, does foretell count as a spell? I don't think so. It'd be funny to foretell and then do this and get the benefit, but I don't think it works that way. Somebody uh, that knows rules better than me want to enlighten me? P.T. Bobby, I burned one card in the 20 years I played Magic. Oh, yeah? Do tell. What was it? No, it does not, says Captain Vlad Tepes. All righty. Thank you for that. All righty, we got some power on the board. Mana is not a problem this game, and we've got an answer in Weather the Storm. So we'll probably hold that lightning bolt for you-know-who. Tail it into a Utopia Sprawl. I don't want to just be uh, landlocked with uh, Weather the Storm and not play it ever. So during your turn, you may pay two XL cards. Foretell is optional. I always cast a spell normally. Yeah, I see. Maybe we wait on that. I don't know. If we draw land, I'll probably just weather the storm now. All right. Well, we've already eaten one lightning bolt. That's good times. He must not have, uh, what is it, Searing Blaze. I always forget the name of that card. Should probably put it up. Okay, here we go. This is good times. Yeah, let's just thrash here. We can do this right now. We'll call red here. If you look closely, we've got six mana. Well, more than that, but we've got six mana available right now. I mean, I guess I could go boom, 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 but I'm not going to. I'm just going to play this. Always yield and then click very slowly because this comes out. And boom, we draw another card. Good times. So I think we found out how this deck loses. It's if some jackass that is playing it for less than the 20th time keeps a one lander, even with a bunch of enchantments against burn. I think it probably could have pulled out the victory against most other decks, but I'm happy for my friend to uh, throttle me last game at least. So. That boarding party is just one of those cards that just demands an answer, so even against burn, yeah, I, I expect that's the play. We're still at 20. We've Mana's all right. We've got options. It's. Um, I tell you, if the word bully wasn't taken with Boros, I might. if I made this deck from scratch and it was like a new thing, I would have probably called it Gruel Bully because this does feel like a bully. This deck is obscene. And I'm a bit biased because I don't think anything's needing the, the B word, meaning ban. But uh, I think if, if I was more of a control player, I'd, I'd probably already be saying, something's got to be done. But I'm a bit biased towards uh, towards this this stuff. Propaganda! Ha <laughs> ha! Ultra Karina! Go, go! Great to catch it live. Thank you so much. Uh, okay, hold on. Ewit Volcarine. All right, there we go. Hey, we got some of our own emojis, man. So, uh, ooh, I don't know if you want to do that on our turn with the hand we've got. There's one spell. There's two. Here comes three. There goes four. We'll play this and give us some more. Uh, I'll just do this now, just to, for the uh, you-know-what count. And booyah! I'll just do this. Let's go. Hiya. Welcome aboard, says me. That's pretty funny. And Shiraz, I keep, uh, I know your your stuff's buried, but I, over the week I, I made one of your, like, thanks to Shiraz, like one of the easiest to get things because I felt so bad about um, your emoji just being kind of lost in this shuffle. It's there, but again, I'm too much of, I, I know it's set for something, but you're there. My emote seems to be borked still. Uh, all right, I will look into that again. To be fair, I was a little inebriated when I was doing that tech, so <laughs> it's probably on my end. Oh, well, at least it says thanks to Shiraz, but yeah, it just shows the propaganda symbol. Darn it. Yeah, I got to maybe do that too. I'd like that propaganda symbol to show up a little bit more, but all right. I think uh, make, yeah, so the PG symbol should be you. Uh, the logo needs to be okay. Note taken, check box listed. I will try to get to that today, my friend. For all that you do, all these years, holding my hand, if only digitally. Yeah, yeah. 
maybe more people use them more often, we'll get some more points, and I'll keep spitting them out. So we've got all kinds of good stuff to go for. But All right. Well, we got a slow roll here. We're just going to attack. Is this mid-range gruel? Uh, it doesn't feel like it. This is just Ponza, but it, it feels pretty damn fast. It's been, um, like I said, smashing faces, taking names. We lost last game, but I lost, not the deck. I kept a one-lander against Burn, which, uh, nope to self. Don't do that. There we go. Should I roll them on? Yeah. I was with it enough. I sent both of the uh, co-pilots to this metagame that we're on here, the uh, deck list, so that we've at least got that. But yeah, it's courtesy of the player Tomato Cheese. We got a 5-0 with it. And uh, there's a lot of lists to choose from, but I really liked his sideboard choices. I'm not going to lie, just because it was so roguey, I was like, oh man, I gotta, you got to love that. And so far, it's seeming pretty techy, too, in a good way. So it's a strange choice. I think I would have gone after the uh, visionary there. Maybe misclick? I don't know. Hmm. Got a hit with very Ponza version of this deck last week. Oh, Stone Rays, Orcus Lumberjack. Oh, wow. Good morning, Lorraine Sushi in the house. All right, with the moat. Showing the love. Thank you for that. We got 27 life against burn. Things are feeling good. We just need to draw something. Come on. Something? Something? Nope. All right. Oh, boy, we're just going to pitter-patter in here, and maybe he'll play uh, Chain Lightning, and we can catch him by surprise, because we can pay for that. Hmm. Yeah, the worst thing about this deck is this uh, white-bordered crap here. But only thing worse than that is the one the, the foil looks like, and those are, like, even more money. So I'm like, all right, well, I'll suffer through the white border. Yeah, there's all kinds of versions of this. It's pretty hard not to be when you've got this much flexible explosive mana at the at the ready. Come on, something good. Big old dinosaur. Ugh. Well, we'll keep him guessing here. Maybe he's got land destruction. We'll try to spread out the love just in case things don't go our way. Even though we're just tinkering through here, we do have that explosive uh, ability at any phase. I'm going to Take a quick break after this, get some more coffee, run to the little boy's room, and then be right back to play some more Ponza. Is that what you guys would call it in the YouTube video if you're looking for a deck like this? Um, I like Dino Smash, but <laughs> pretty expensive card. Yeah. Yeah, I like to... I try not to obviously buy high, but I was like, eh, I got a show to do. I can... Got enough uh, of you helping me out on the uh, buy me a coffee link and stuff like that. I can, uh, I've got, that's what paid for this and a few other nice little trinkets here and there. So the show keeps getting better as we keep growing together. And like I said, just thanks for hanging out with me all these Saturdays and such. And I believe the end of this month is another one of those no holds barred popper events. And I'm probably just going to enter it and then just play live and uh, show you guys. We'll just peruse the other lists and, uh, eavesdrop on other things and uh we'll see how it goes if it's a big kerplunk and the view count plummets then i won't do it anymore but um give it a try at least propaganda most mainstream name is probably gruel cascade hmm all right ponza can yeah because ponza uh somebody wrote a really great definition of it on our video last week about it being like some based on some sandwich and some cafe. I was very grateful for that. I really like that deep dive into it. But um, it usually denotes a kind of a balanced attack with uh, land destruction, if I'm not mistaken. But this really doesn't... The land destruction doubles as ramp, and it's there. And there's some games when you can feel like, oh, my God, just got it. But it's usually uh, not a factor. Okay, so we've, we've paid the dues enough here. I'm going to drop the Altasaur. So we're getting... We'll keep open our mana for you know what. We'll cast the pack mate. And uh, that way. Okay, well, we just went here. Boop, boop. Zoinks! Ponza uses the green, red, big creatures in line destruction. Alrighty. Maybe Ponza Cascade? That would probably be the most accurate. Of course, I just like big words. For the, you know, those YouTube videos are so small. Last week I had to say char belcher. <laughs> it's so hard to stretch through. So we'll do a superstitious shuffle here just to see how things uh, turn out. Grab two of these and throw them right between these two forests. Never lost one when we've done that. I would call it 
chilly question. Oh, that's pretty cool, MTM Tat. I like the randomness. Yes. Oh, we were watching uh, one of our old favorites, my son and I, on his birthday. We were watching Five Fighters of Shaolin, which is like, or from Shaolin, our favorite one. You can watch it on YouTube for free. And uh, the overdubbing is so atrocious and almost racist, uh, the way they they just overdo everything. But uh, it's still funny as hell. And uh, we couldn't catch this guy's name, so we watched a, Jap- or a Chinese version with subtitles. And this guy's name, speaking of randomness, is why I'm going down this this tangent. His name was Bull Egg, like B-U-L-L-E-G-G. <laughs> it was like, man, that was just like crazy random. So now I want to make a deck called Bull Egg and get some like hasty dudes in there. All right, we're going to keep this kind of a no-brainer. I know Arbit Elves use Queer and Rangers to untap your forests. Ooh. All righty, here we are, here we are. We've got Weather the Storm. This deck just feels invincible. Okay, we'll do this into this. And outside of a... Oh, a land destruction spell. We're feeling pretty good already here. I mean, we can at least zap a uh, alchemist and weather the storm as kind of a bad play if we wanted to do that. Depends what we see here. That might be my plan, though. Some decks still run the combo on the side. Pretty sweet. There we go. Only question now is do I wait for him to try to activate it so we can get one more off of Weather the Storm? Uh, Not with two of them being drawn here. Let's get after it. We'll do this to here, get rid of that dude, and since we've already got one, I'll just do the old insurance policy, pass the turn, and here we go. Man, that card's unfair. Any card might need to be, not banned, but maybe restricted. It just seems just like it shuts the door so hard. There's another amplifier. Well, eggs, but also our affinity. Eggs with flurry of horns somehow. <laughs> you got the spirit MTM tap. Yeah. Oh, so I took Charbelter out with like a hybrid design and just crashed and burned badly. Um... My initial hunch was right. You just got to go all in with the zeros. Start tried sneaking in like bone splitters and went back and forth with a few people online about um, some lists. I think it was uh, Pat Rick um, on YouTube and very good suggestions and theories and stuff. But in the end, it just it really dulled the deck down, slowed it down just enough to where it just consistently just kept kind of losing and it's frustrating. Oh, Roddy. I want a body in front of that. Let's, uh, I guess we just do this into this. We'll, we'll rock like this, and then I'll just draw the card here. I'll do the tress next turn. Cast this here. Boop. That way. We eat some removal, but we're still going to at least draw a card. Alrighty, here we are. Definitely let me know if you want me to buy you an IRL coffee in Colorado next month. Oh, in real life. <laughs> I do know that one. Yeah, it'd be pretty cool to... I I don't know if... I, I'm going to be a carless, so uh, I'll, have to, I'll have to check that out. But that would be pretty cool. Just would feel bad if we have to drive super far. I think he, my brother lives in... Um, oh, where is that? What the hell is that place called? Uh, send me an email, MTM Tat. We could hopefully hang out. That would be pretty cool. At least get a picture for the top of the show, right? That'd be pretty sweet. Yeah. Where else could you meet Semikoff, Deluxe, and Sapphire all in one go? (laughs) Yeah, I gotta get that kid out of the house. I need it too. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah, I wish I could get my family to move to Colorado. Boy, I love the skies out there. Just gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Every time I look up, I'm just amazed. What's really trippy about Colorado, though, is um, the juxtaposition of where the mountains sit. And uh, my brother caught me doing it. Like, I just felt kind of like, um, I don't know, almost... Uh, Nauseous is too strong of a word, but it was close. And uh, he goes, I know exactly what you're feeling. Growing up, the mountains were always on our right side. And 
there they were always on the left and i was like god that's exactly what it was it was like that's what that's what's doing it it's really strange took a lot of getting used to and i know from experience and from um, my mom moving out there got to drink a lot of water when you go to colorado especially you know the denver area and you know, that elevation's no joke it can really uh even somebody that thinks they drink enough water you should probably drink even more because people either fall down get headaches or Sometimes worse if uh, they don't pay attention to that. But yeah, I really love it out there. Beautiful, beautiful. But my brother does say he really misses the ocean. Well, he's putting up a good fight here. I got that amplifier doing some work. I think I'm just going to get in front of it if he offers me the trade. All right, I'll take it. Get rid of that. My man is just right. Okay, what's this? Bum, 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 bum. Oh, okay, it's another dude. Two, four, five. We've got the entourage online. We'll do this again. I'd really like to get that uh, weather the storm out from under me, but for right now, we'll just do this here. We'll call red again. I think we'll attack. Six is no joke. This is probably going to be more like five. I'll put us at nine. We can weather the storm pretty quickly here. Like next turn, we'll have the mana for it with the uh, entourage if we just draw crap. But sweating a little bit here. I could see this is probably one of those matchups that this deck doesn't like to see. Good news for you burn mages out there. Might be a good time to be playing it, but that's right when you run into a bunch of this mixed with Pulsa Marasa, etc. But, wow, I didn't know we had that many viewers live. Thank you for joining me, everybody. And if you're hiding out in the chat, please say something. I only know if you're there if you show your nice little uh, digital handle in the chat there. Don't go anywhere. I'm going to be rolling to a custom-made commercials here in just a few beats. Go get a coffee refill, and we'll be right back to play some more Ponza. Ponza Gru. Ponza Gruel School. One, two, three, four, five. We'll just play this now. Bambo. Two cards there. We've only done one. I think it's probably going to be better for us to just weather the storm on there. If he does one spell, we're going to have the same effect. So we'll do that. Good luck with the rest of the stream. I'll catch the rest on YouTube. All right, Cooper the Red. Hooray. Let's see what we were coming up against. Okay, cool. All right, guys. Well, this is kind of what's been the experience of this deck. It just keeps doing that. It keeps crushing. And so uh, we're going to roll to a quick commercial here. We'll be right back after these messages. It's the liquor of ages. The tonic of conquerors. Find your spark. Gin and tonic, making men and the giants since 1857. Hey everybody, thank you so much to the people listed here. Your continued support means the world to me as we move forward always inventing, always doing new things. It's just nice to have so many of you aboard. If you'd like to donate, please do so at the link next, and we'll see you next time. Without a little bit of a drama, ran, grabbed my coffee, ran through the hallway, came in, bumped the door because I forgot I put a pillow there for a sound buffer and spilled coffee all over my pillow. So that was fun. All righty. Going to be the counter spell, surely? I would think so. That's probably dibs on first, right? If people uh, have that going down here. So we shall see. And me showing up. Let's see what we can do. If this continues, thanks for joining me there, little fight. That was, I know that. 
sometimes the matchups take a little while there. All right, we do want to play first. We got a good hand here. Kind of a little clunky, could be. We'll keep it. Be nice if one of these uh, boarding parties or bonners ornaments were a enchantment, but for right now, we draw one land. We'll be off to Rampville. That's the other thing. It's a really diversified list that uh, Tomato Cheese has come up with, or maybe others. I don't know if it was originally his. I just know that he placed a 5 with it, but uh, it's, it's just subtly sneaky, you know? You got ramp where you don't think it's going to be, and bonders ornament, and cards that draw that give you ramp that you blink, and all of a sudden you got six, and you don't have any enchantments out, or the elf, and pretty fun. Do -do -do. Who won? Hello. I went for a quick... Oh, um, yep. We're 2 0 so far. All right. Let's just pull out some more ramp here. This is kind of a little bit of a screw version of the list here, but it's all right. Still feeling good. Hmm. Can you show the full list of this deck? One of my co pilots will bring that up shortly. Kokongs. You betcha. Both sides were our side. Yeah, that's right. All righty. Here we go. There's the land we want. One, two, three, four, five. We're almost there. I guess we could just draw a card. Eh, let's bring out another ornament. <clears throat> it's ramp after all. Thank you for that, Shiraz. Appreciated. We don't really need this. One, two, three, four, five. I'll trade with a sprite if he wants to go that route. So that stay back and wait. The majority of the time I've noticed it doesn't really work too well against a Cascade deck because you get two spells. and they, uh, If they're both money spells, it's kind of losing magic to sit back and do the old Drago game against this style, but um, we'll see. I'm sure it works sometimes. It's kind of reinvigorated me as far as a uh, new answer. Uh, let's see. We got this to this to this to this. And this will be six. We can at least get out a boarding party. Boop. And see what else we get. This probably won't live. If you do have spot removal, you probably don't want to use it on this. Unless it's a real early start. Okay. So here we go. Uh, Entourage of Trust still hits. Bam. I'm kind of glad that happened just to show you guys how that goes down. It's like, yep, you waited around with the counter and then boom. We draw cards. Wizard should print counter up to two target spells for <laughs> no Dreamer Stango, damn you! <laughs> and make it white border only and foil. It's like the only version available. So now they gotta do a board commitment here, or they threaten to get buried in less than five turns or four turns, and that's if we don't draw anything or do anything with the board. So. Name it Cancel Culture. <laughs> There's enough stuff named that. Also known as just about every everything online. Yeah, that counter with Storm just never seems to find a home. And when you're looking for that card, you know that there's a there's a broken deck out there and you probably need to add a color to your list or go on to another list. <laughs> Don't give them ideas. That sounds like a secret layer card. <laughs> All right, so this is what you might call it, that return two islands, draw two cards, uh, one three dude, uh, the illusion. I can't, uh, Fathom Seer, that's the one. All righty, so now we have some fun here. We'll go like this and just be lazy about it, you know. I feel like Bob Ross over here. Boop, boop, boop. Tap these little happy trees. Have a little dinosaur that lives with them. I'm telling you, this... I, I feel like I'm playing... Oops. Uh, yeah, cast this without mana cost. Jeez, sometimes I almost click through that. I feel like I'm playing, like, tetherball against, like, four-year-olds. And I'm just... You know, I'm not that tall of a guy, but <laughs> it's just... This deck just really feels wrong. It's like when... Uh, it's just been a few times in, in history when, like, a deck comes... Oh, I remember when Tribe had access to four gushes, there was about a week or two there where it was like, can this thing lose? But this, I feel even more so. It just, there's a consistency to this list that's just hideous. You know, this draws you cards and ramps, and this draws you card and ramp, 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 draw, 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 green, red, no blue, what? Hey, check that out. That's pretty cool. Hey, I'm going to, do I sit back here? Yeah. I'm just going to sit back and draw a card. 
He's just going to block, probably shoot, and then come over and steal it. So nice to see foil. Not many people play that anymore. I've been trying to make that work in a few different shells just recently. You return, uh, discard an island and another card and uh, you counter a spell. I won't go so far as to put in a basking root wallace, but you get the idea. A bot does not seem to work at the moment. Oh, I missed the discussion at the top of the show. It was in the bathroom. It's... Oh, this is a tomato cheeses uh, 5 0. And um, like I said, I saw it and was just like, holy crap. This deck is amazing. Hmm. There's so many neat ways to go with this turn. But I think instead of getting cutesy, we just thrash. For. Um, let me hold. We'll do this. We'll do this. And we'll bring out our boarding party. I could drop an acid moss here. We could play a pack mate and draw a card. We could sit back and draw, draw, draw. But we're drawing a card every time with this. Feeling pretty OP. We've got the lightning bolt to pick this up or a sprite if it gets a little out of hand. But we'll bring this down. Okay. So. This is UR Fairies, and that's how that matchup's been going pretty uh, regularly. I've been running into versions of this, and that's a damn fine deck, but, well, you see what happens. All right, Acid Moss, not so great. Entourage, I'm going to lose one of two. And maybe one ornament. I'll bring in the Volleys. This is a Fairy deck. We can, we can power into it. And... I guess we bring in three of those. Might be a bit overkill, but overkill's fun. Spicy. <laughs> Cascade into Rush of Knowledge. I think Rush costs even more. Isn't that seven and a blue or something? Or six and a blue? Could be something else. Yeah, I know Jer uh, James B has a pretty good Fathom Seer. He's he's been on that he's been hot on that card for about a year or two now and uh, doing really good things with it. So I think it's a great card. Oh, we finally have a, a hand we can't keep. I guess this deck isn't perfect. I'll mulligan this. Clicking nice and slowly. We'll keep. Get rid of a forest here. We've got plenty. Especially with these boys. Whoop, here we go. Bot, bot. Okay. And away we go. Well. Let's get our mana right. I want to do this here because if he's got a sprite and he jumps on that, it's fine because we've got the other one right behind it. We'll rock like this. That might turn into a ninja if it doesn't flip. But even so, we've got so many 3-3 bodies. So many. Well, four. <laughs> but uh, things that block it and don't look back. Yeah, this, is a, this deck is hideous. I think I'm just going to probably play it in the challenge as is and watch me just crash and burn all of a sudden but all right here we are we all know how long i've wanted to make decks like this work too so i'll slow roll this a little bit we're going to bring out both of these guys and we'll just zap this and here we go Two, four, six, seven mana. Two draw spells in hand. Three, three body. We could play both of them if we want to foretell. Actually, we could play, just play both of them, can't we? Yeah. It's gross. That sit back and wait and counter stuff just doesn't work. Here's two. Here's four. Here's six. They have one counter spell. That's fine. We have multiple spells. Well, they could have a counterspell and a foil, but that's going to cost them, what, four cards? Pretty crazy. Yeah, I really think about the only thing stopping this list is the price. There's some pretty pricey cards in this. It's nothing to sneeze at. Alrighty, well, down comes that. And here we go. I guess we'll call red. That's a bit of a stultified turn. Now, we had to cascade into crap, but we are still got crazy amount of mana on board. Cannonade here would set us back a little bit, but we just walk right into Pride Mate. So, Brendan the Popper, Lurk, thank you for that. I appreciate it. It's nice to just 
know that I'm not alone and this view count isn't a bunch of uh, pretend bots. Whoop. Okay, there we go. He's got the answer, but so do we. We'll tap this. We'll untap this. We'll tap it again. We've got, oh, let's see. If we do three and a four, we could do that. So let's do this. Make sure to pay red. Then we'll pay this. Cast it. And do this, 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 and ah, white, because I'm lazy. Whoop. Draw a card. Hey, look at that. This is so unfair. That's three, six, nine, twelve mana. Three dudes out. Cannonade here still keeps our three, three dude out. It's got a ninja. We just block it all day long. He's had two counter spells, a Delver Ponder opener. It's a good hand. Really good against pretty much anything but this list. This is probably the morph dude. Yep. A little desperation, probably gonna have to pop it out of sequence. You can't really block uh pump and stay out of two range because we've got a three three body here. Got on late. What's happening? says Vikings leaving. Hey, thank you for that. Sub there, Viking Sleevin. Hey, it worked. You're the very first person that, uh, thank you for that little fight. Last week we we fixed it. So it says your name and uh, thank you so much for the sub. I really appreciate it. We are playing a Tomato Cheese's 5-0 list, which I've never lost with. Uh, we're coming up on, I think I was 14-0 and before the stream started. And now I've won on our way to three more wins here. I just, does just doesn't seem like this deck can lose. It's really overpowered the bonner's ornament at first you think like oh, i don't need that many of them but they're ramp and uh you know i do what i preach uh i saw this list and i immediately had like oh what about and i'm like you know what i'm gonna do them a favor i'm just gonna play it as is all the credit to the dua all right there we go so far so good so hype also deactivate opposing Bonner's ornaments. Yeah, and then, you know, most ornaments, uh, like in the Tron variant, they've, I guess the ramp doesn't really matter at that at that stage, but it does for us. We like to have quite a bit of that. So uh, here we go. We'll go from here. Welcome aboard the SS metagame. Brandon the Popper subbing at tier one. Thank you so much for that. I vastly appreciate that, especially on this busy Saturday with uh, all these Popper shenanigans. So we'll go over the list as we're waiting for our next victim. Um, hype train. <laughs> yeah. All right. The hype is real. Come on. Where's our... F oh, that's why. Okay. We had somebody jump on. Macabites. We'll minimize this. Eh, you know, this is kind of a clunky hand. we got two lands. Not much else to do with them, but we're on the draw. We can foretell. We'll keep. We'll probably draw into some, either another land or... We don't have red yet, but we can get it with the acid moss combo here. Let's see what we're up again. Let's keep up this hype train. Thank you for that, Brandon the Popper. I love the hype. All right. Ugh. And look at this. Way to, way to throw water on the fire, right? Everybody's hyping up, and we have one of the least explosive hands of the day. It looks like I'm up against Pestilence here. Yep, looks to be that way. Oh, man, would it have been nice to have a quick little elf with a uh, Utopia Sprawl right into an Acid Moss onto that Basilica, but oh well. Yep, I agree, Dreamer Stingo. We can just, normally we get kind of marooned here, but we can foretell. Boop, boop, boop. And we will yield through this turn. Pop again the mug, folks. Good times. One of the coolest little gifts I've ever gotten. I knew I forgot something. All right. Well, we finally hiccup on land. Let's see. So far, it feels so good. I guess we'll pop it here. Let's get a body. Draw a card. This is this is the deck not working, but we're still got two lands and a three three body out. It's probably gonna eat a uh, man. What a clunky hand. What do we lose? What do we lose? Probably a pack mate. I know I can foretell and know it, but not too uh, blown away by its stats compared to what else we've got here. Actually, I want the. I'll lose one pack mate here. Can't believe we're. What do I mean? Can't believe this deck's just been phenomenal. We're finally getting kind of a uh, hand. It's about time, really. Alrighty. 
Another basilica. All right. Come on, Acid Moss. Let's do some work. Let's make him regret playing that. Sucker. We're only one hour in, and we're on our fourth match. So this is also a fast deck, so a lot of fun on that angle, too. Here we go. Fortell. Now, next turn, if we draw a land, we're going to have a lot of fun. Bit of a slow roll here, but uh, it's not like they're putting a bunch of pressure on us. So if we're going to keep a blah hand, this is a good one to do it with. Thank you for all the hype and the love, everybody, and for joining us here on Papaganda. Yeah, that's something that could block our dudes, but we've got Trample, so it's kind of like still kind of a, a no-go zone, right? I wouldn't go as far as to put, uh, what do you call, artifact creatures in this, but all right, let's start evening up this mana. Go get us some. What's cool about this is it says for a forest, not for a basic, so we can go grab one of these and put it into play. A lot of people don't know that, but yep, that is a forest. It's not a basic. Doesn't work on that keyword, but pretty good. Oh, Tank Rivals, thank you for the sub. Vastly appreciated, my friend. Getting lots of subs today. Very cool. All right, well, we know he's going to probably pull the Acid Moss here. As he looks into the hand of doom. Scoured Barons. Good times. Very slow start to our hand, but we are still feel like we're a bit in control here. We've still got that Fortel card. I've got to keep it there so I don't forget. So I'm a forgetful bastard, I tell you. Yeah. Got multiple banners other than this one, too. There's oh, quite a few cool ones that we got at the, uh, the local store there. We've got a Jace and a, just all kinds of good ones. But I've always, not that I play that card, but I've always loved that stained glass look. Just very cool. All right. I kind of like this because now we've got uh, Edict Proof. Don't really have any enchantments, but at this stage of the game, it's very frustrating for somebody to kind of have to double Edict to get something through sort of thing. So, And this will probably keep the Guardian back, buying us more time for the Altasaur to come out and just start chewing things up. Burn in the Popper! Whoa! Check it out! Big old... Dump truck of subs. Awesome. 100% for this. I'm getting some sort of cool notification. Hype. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see that. I think it's buried in my, my uh, underneath my screen here. But at the top of mine, I'm getting. Oh, I got level two complete, it says. Thanks to Brandon the Popper and all of you others. So appreciate that. Go crazy with those emotes if you've got the Popper points for them. That's why I made them. And if you like guitar, I know that's coming out of left field. My uh, nephew, Adrian Ballou, is on tw Twitch and on um, YouTube. And uh, he's got pretty cool stuff. He's fresh on the mind because I just spent like a day making him like five or six of different emojis. So he's not very adept at the Photoshop. Vikings leaving. Thank you. Thank you. And Sexy Padre. Thanks for the sub. Very cool. Holy propaganda, says Hellovite. No kidding. Thank you, guys. Feeling the love. All right. We've got two, four, six. I actually expected kind of a slow uh, day today just because of, I know the um, there's some popper championship or something going on. So I'm, um, I'm always thankful for the love. All right. Let's just invest this turn. No sense in attacking. We'll just do this. Sit back and the uh, visionary is looking pretty scary. It's nice to finally use this card. Such a good card and fits right at home. The purist in me wanted to put four of these in and maybe lose two Bonner's Ornament, but again, they both draw cards, they both ramp, and then this one's so hard to answer. And if you bring an artifact hate against this, it just kind of feels a little hollow. It's like all you're aiming at is Bonner's Ornament and you're kind of slowing up your turn and I don't know. Interesting. Might be worthy of one weather the storm in this. I don't know. Probably not. All right. Do we? I think I'm going to save this for a Skyfisher. Look at me being patient. This deck is sweet. It's worth making it jund. I don't think so. It's one of those things they ain't broke. Just like last week's Charbelcher list. The second I started tweaking around with it, it just kind of lost. Just over and over again. Just kind of all the time. Not to say. Oh, I gotta remember we got this cool dude over here. Alright, yeah, we'll just play that. More ramp. 
Thank you very much. I guess we'll just play that dude now, right? Why not? Uh, yeah, let's uh, let's play this and this, and then we'll just draw another card. Hey, I said foretell. Cast by paying its foretell cost. Oh, and this draws a card. If we didn't forget, doink. There's another one. Yep. Oh, hey, more land. All right, we'll do stuff next turn. I guess he could double block there. I won't go so far as to putting flaring pain, but it could be a thing if. Uh, Guardian decks take off and just become a big chunk of the metagame. So, Brandon the Popper, Popper for the win. Both the Cascade creatures can hit Rush of Knowledge to draw a 6 7, but it may be even better not to West. Yeah, that's kind of my thing, Dreamer Stingo. I'm all for innovation and trying stuff, but I haven't seen a hole in this thing's um, game yet. Well, we got a nice target for the Lightning Bolt, right? You can't really do much with it. Let's zap that. Problem-esque creature. Zeke. And these don't really worry about smashing into Guardian. Double Guardian, yeah, but we'll be all right. All right, let's draw some cards. Ah, oh, this is just embarrassing. This deck just keeps keeps your hand full. Everything's huge. Everything smashes hard. Do we draw here? Why not? Let's just be greedy. Let's draw. I guess we can do it. Can we do it again? One, two, three. Nope. But hey, we'll keep a little uh, cannon fodder out. All right. If I attack with everything, he can block this. I'm just going to do it. Let's attack with everything. You know, uh, it's got prismatic here. That would kind of suck. But I'm just going to stay aggro. Forcing him. If he, if he does want to get rid of one of my dudes and he doesn't have prismatic, he's going to have to kind of divvy up the attack. But I'm pretty sure he's going to, yeah, double block here. This looks like a prismatic coming our way. If it isn't, I'll be thrilled, but I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah, nice play. This might get him out of the woods. Oh, it isn't. Okay. Well, that kind of sucks. Not that we can really bring it back, but he takes five. We lose a dude. That's all right. All righty. Hype train success. He just received a level two hype train mode. All right. I'll share that. Sure. We'll get a little blink screen here. Boop. There we go. There's me ugly mug. Wambo. Okay. Well, we definitely don't need this. That feels so good when they have to use seven mana to get rid of a 1-1 one -one at this stage of the game. Alrighty. At least it wasn't a prismatic strands. That's not a good draw. We'll say red... We'll go uh, draw some cards here. Not much we can do as far as uh, on the aggro front. But we'll draw lots of cards. I mean, I should probably do this at the end of turn because they do run Castigate. So that would suck, but I'm just going to um, try to set up the go here. Ah, I should call this deck Christmas morning. This is crazy. I'm kind of pulling for it to lose. It'd be nice if... Uh, Ooh, what do we have here? This looks pretty big. Oh, the Edict. Okay. Well, all right. Your whole turn to get rid of a 2-2. Two -two. They are at 22. Not feeling ultra confident, but here comes the goods. It'd be nice to drop into an Acid Moss here to keep them off of the big mana. They can pretty much wipe stuff out, so... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. What's seven mana? Who cares? This dinosaur is growing on me, I tell you. As we play another thing that can eat an edict. And I'll try to play correct magic and wait till the end of my turn to draw stuff. We'll do it that way. We'll see what we'll see how that works out. Yeah, if you're just joining us, we've got a little contest rolling up. Not contest, but I think our biggest tier emote is to uh, burn a card live on the air. I got I got everything ready. 10,000 poffer points. The cards are ready to be burnt. The same ones on that list. So you just call it out, and boom, you'll be the first ever. And like I said, hopefully I don't trip the fire alarm. Because that would make for a pretty funny little... Oh, shoot. I'm sitting here talking so much, I 
walk right through the uh, draw step. Oh well, this deck's good enough. I can probably do, and I should probably should have done that. But who knows? Maybe they've got some uh, draw spells of their own, or land destruction of their own. Just getting two cavalier here. It's like even if you screw up, you don't. I mean, I definitely could have played that a little bit better. As we rock like this into this, and we draw some more cards. Oop. All right, that's cool. One, two. He can steal it, but it's another creature, so I like it. I don't want to be. Uh, oh, what's that card? Um, this will encourage him to attack. I can't block any of those dudes, even though this has the cool, very cool card and popper. Entourage of Tress can block an additional creature. As long as you're the monarch. Pretty cool. Yeah, this this thing draws plenty of cards. I mean, we're 20 cards up on this guy. I do not think we need to... Uh, I think dumb down is too harsh of a term, but it does feel like that. It just blue because it's like doesn't need it. All right, down goes the dino. You know, we might just mull ourselves out here. That'd be a pretty funny way to lose. Beware of milling out, says him. I know. I, I was on that same mindset. Pestilence. We've got a pretty varied metagame. We beat Burn, Demir, and You Are Fairies, all metagame heavyweights, and even this one tends to be up there with them. So we're fine giving this back. If we attack with these, we're still doing about three a turn if he blocks here. I'll probably just come in with everybody. I can't uh, do much of anything with that. But we've got a one land activation of the other thing. And plus, we don't really care about our graveyard. That's another nice little bonus. Might be actually a hole in the deck's game plan if you could maybe utilize the graveyard, but that's not something that Gruel is very fond of doing. Alrighty, yeah. Well, we've got the Dino rumbles through them, so that's okay. He's probably saving up that uh, Crypt Rat to kind of wrath our board, so there there is that out. So that kind of sucks. We'll drop here, draw a card. All right, let's uh, draw another one. Four, draw a card. Okay, that's kind of awkward. One, two, three, four. We'll draw a card. Ah, I'm surprised that he has not dropped Pestilence yet. Yeah, probably walking right into a big old fat trap, but I ain't afraid. Let's drop here. And I'll just attack. I'm just going to attack with everything. I want to encourage a even exchange of ideas. Get these critters going. Probably walking into some spot removal. We might only hit for one or two, but we will get the monarch back at this stage, almost hindering us, right? Okay. They're going the preserve life route. In case there's a uh, crypt rat in our future. All right. That dies. Had to use a card to do it. We do become the monarch. We want to draw a card here. The two guardians on the board seems like a new brainer. They might not have found it. They can't draw as much as we are. We're helping them out with the uh, monarch there, that's for sure. What do we have here? Oh, Palace Sentinels. All right. So you want to fight, eh? Here we go. There we go. Yep. Time to wrath the board. We're all right with that. It's going to come. Why wouldn't he attack there? All right. Well, we can spot check him here. We actually might lose a game. Yeah, why not? Could save it for that, but... Get them to 12. And don't forget how much life they've gained. We should be at a little bit less there. Okay, well, if he's going to let us untap, let's uh, abuse it. Well, should have done that, really, first, but... <laughs> we'll say green, why not? Yeah, sure, let's play this. Bonk. This way he'll have to... Uh... Mm. 
Whoop. Down comes Cascade. Down comes Boarding Party. What else comes? Bonder's Ornament. Don't forget, we're, we're using up cards here, so we might deck ourselves. He's just going to Wrath it here. Our Altasaur will live. That's going to make for a fun attack. Huzzah! Well, no, we've got mana, so let's use it. Draw a card. See if we can draw ourselves out. That'd be a funny way to lose. All right. Well, no sense in doing that. One, two, three. Draw a card. Oops. One more. It's getting dizzy with options here. I know we're losing our board, but whatever. Attack! Whoa! Feudal attack! He can block everything. So why are we attacking? We'll just stay back. Make him blast the uh, the option out there. With this option, we'll be able to uh, use an Arbor Elf to protect against uh, Edicts, which isn't going to do much with a Pestilence out, I know. I'm kind of morbidly curious if I can just draw my entire deck out here. That'd be a pretty funny way to go. He can triple block and kill the Altasaur. That's interesting. We do have access to Flaring Pain, but I don't think uh, we will really need it in this matchup. Got him at nine. Kind of need to... Uh, how many of our Lightning Bolts have we eaten? Okay, we've only got one Lightning Bolt left. Pretty unlikely that we're going to uh, burn them out here. There are two left. That'd be that'd be something. We've got one bolt left. Uh, now I'm seeing that we're on the exact same page today, Dreamer Stingo. Good to have you aboard, my friend. All right, here we go. Why not? In it to win it, baby. Woo! -hoo -hoo. Nah. Oh look, we're out of mana. We finally can't do something. Those guardians got something to do. Good times. All right, I can foretell that. We don't need to draw a card. I was almost At this stage, I almost wish it said you may draw a card because uh, this is feeling... Uh, I think we're going to scoop here. We've only got 15 cards left. That's... Um, nah, what fun is that? Well, first of all, let's attack, right? This does have trample. Oops, never mind. That can block for seven. Well, let's do something about that. Huzzah! <laughs> All right, here we go. Uh, sure, we'll put it on this one. God, that's an ugly card. Sorry, apologies for playing with white borders. I should be burning these ad nauseum, but what you're going to do? How many of those do we have left? Exiled. One boarding party, two boarding parties. There is another one in the list. Shall we find it? He'll just uh, wrath in response. All right. So we're going to lose our crew here, but we at least make him have to hurt himself. Maybe we can get him into doing it one more turn and have a lightning bolt to figure it all out afterwards. I don't know. We'll play a pack mate after this. Draw even more cards. What an embarrassment of riches. Even when we're losing, it feels like we're winning. Yep, quick little block there. All right, cool. More cards being used. All right. Now they're at six. Good times. Let's uh, play more stuff. We'll do this. I'm going to just drop the elf. I, I don't want to look at it. Here we go. And uh, we'll just draw some cards. One, two, three, four. Mm -hmm. All right. Do this to this. Say red. And one, two, three. Let's draw some more. Hiya. Woo! That'll be fun. Well, yep. Guess we're spent. Yeah, you play Flaring Pain after blocks with anything with the Guardian. If you've got enough on it to kill him, it, it will work. A lot of people don't know that little gem. Oh, I sure do. Ah, is that the right foot? It's getting cold in here, so i got to put on my slippers, and it's dark. So I've got to... Excuse me? Yeah! Okay, there we are. 
As we go down to seven. They've got us on the ropes, folks. We will definitely lose this one. It took a good 12 minutes to get there, but they got us. Good for them. All righty. Let's see how far away our uh, thing was there. Do -do -do. Captain Vlad Tempest first. I like it. Bam. This is when we double bolt, right? With the pestilence on the stack. Hey -ya! Let's see. He's keeping us alive, eh? All right. Just because it's fun. Look at this mana. Good God. Boom, 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 boom. We'll just make it easy. Here we go. Here we go. Come on. Here we are. And there we go. Okay. Maybe we can make it interesting. Let's draw. That's it. Now, if we had access to both of our bolts, we all know that there's none left there. So maybe, oh, you know what? This might actually work if he uh, goes crazy with this. Draw. One, two, three, four. One more. Come on. Here we go. This is going to be hilarious if we end up uh, having a draw, but I'm sure the Pestilence will go through first. He'll, he'll still be at one. But makes for makes for good TV. All right. We'll concede. How far away was that bolt? Where was it hiding? Who knows? Find out on next week's propaganda. Good job, Pestilence. A legit victory over gruel bully that's what this feels like anyway inside out will work on um <laughs> guardian of the guild pack but not to much end it just hits harder that'd be kind of silly blow your house down there are no walls that we're too worried about i if this was a tourney and i wasn't being such a chatterbox i might consider bringing in one of these just to uh I don't know. That might that might be the right call. But I think we go with Calming Verse here to get rid of the Pestilence lock. Really like the uh, Acid Moss here. I, I really like a lot of things in this, but he'll probably bring in some artifact removal, so um, I want to make it, make it not feel as good. I think I'll lose a Bonder's Ornament and maybe one Entourage and bring in two Calming Verse. Calming Verse is a very interesting tech. Destroy all enchantments you don't control. Just make sure your lands are tapped. And then it's a uh, pretty good tranquility without hitting your stuff. But if you have an untapped land, it will destroy all of yours. Alrighty, so I think that's uh, where we're going to rock with this. Boop. Let's do it. Kaczynski redeemed thanks to Shiraz. Yes, we all thank Shiraz. The steadfast guard of the SS metagame, our imaginary ship in this uh, crazy popper landscape, which is Getting pretty healthy thanks to this list kind of nudging off Tron as far as uh, the next bully on the block. Yeah, we want to play first. I got to start focusing on good hand. We'll keep it. Uh, we didn't really see any castigates in this list. I'm sure there are some, but we don't want it to hit anything, and it won't now as we get rid of the ugliest card in all of magic wild growth with white borders. Ugh. Still one sided wrath. It was nice to see a Papa Cascade deck. Well, it won't be the last. This is a lot of fun to play. So a couple more months, we might revisit it with uh, new cards, new tech. Who knows? I've only had about two days of practice with this thing, and uh, hopefully it doesn't show, but it's very good times. I just always have stuff to do. It's just crazy. My activation. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger so I don't neglect it like I did that last time. <laughs> Yeah, the foil one is just as ugly, Kaczynski, and um, distracting and expensive. And this deck's already super pricey. This is like five ticks right here. This is a bit more than... It's one of the more expensive popper decks. I think it's like 90-something dollars, if I remember right. Okay, well, we'll get our mana right here. Well, let's, uh, let's just do this now. Draw a card... What's it going to be? We're going to make him use up his uh, removal. Hey, that's pretty cool. Except that if he's got duress, I, I don't like that. But we'll lay down our mountain here. I love this equinox. If anybody out there, this is by Therese Nielsen, has this artwork and you're willing to trade it to me, hit me up online if you see me online. I need like seven more of these. I think I have 13. I really want to get it to about 20. I just love that art.
Good afternoon, Punk Toast 82 Doobie, Drooby. Thank you for joining us. I did not expect all these friends to be hanging out on a Saturday, which I know there's quite a bit of uh, traffic on the uh, mothership today with the championships and all, but thank you for making us your choice. So we've only got about one game after this, if we can pull this one off, hopefully. All right, let's ramp into problems. We'll get rid of the white option here. Boop. And go get some more red options as we grab a rug. Uh, yeah, what's this one called? Highland Forest. Tread carefully. The last time I walked on this path, half the snowdrifts were, in fact, sleeping trolls. I've never run so fast in my life. Not, not bad. Nice little flavor boost. Oh, Sapphire wants me to make a uh, public announcement. Nobody should be playing this. Those are his words, not mine. Kind of agree with him, though. Oh, thank you for that, Kaczynski. Happy to trade. Got quite a few things or whatnot, but I cleaned up my mana base so much so that I kind of miss a lot of cards. Give them all to my boy, and he just likes to play arena or in paper. He's not too into the Magic Online scene, but oh, how I want another Acid Moth to hit. Spare supplies. These mountains are only a dime on leading trade bots. They are? God, last time I looked, they were like a couple bucks. Maybe I got it wrong. I don't know. One, two, three, four, five, six. Get us this. Come on, Acid Moss. Show us Acid Moss. Nope. Hey, well, at least we get rid of uh, any edict tricks, and we hit for six. Not bad. So, I mean, so, uh, you know, your typical... Um, we've all seen me play... I've, I've placed in challenges with ramp decks in the past, won some 5-0s and leagues way before the cascade element showed up and uh the the bane of those decks is sometimes you would you would stumble and just draw this but this draws just so many cards and even now if we draw this it is kind of a bit of a dead card but our opponent's playing edict so even then it's like well still get cannon fodder yeah i'm not a fan of supply all righty we could force him to tap if we just attack first but this deck kind of likes to do stuff now, so I want to do, um, we'll do four, five, six, seven. And we'll play the Alta Sword now, because we might draw into something that works. See, so pitches that. Come on, I really want to hit Acid Moss. It's like kind of, yes! Here we go. Booyah! How you like that? Embarrassment of riches. So many other come to play draw card stuff. I know it draws on the exit, but I'd rather get a little bit more utility out of it. Okay. Here we go with this. Yeah, we've got some answers, but we can still hit for one. Boom. Some kind of artifact return function with supplies could be cool. Yeah, this Sky Fisher and such. There's there's a lot of ways. It's never a dead draw. I just um I don't know. I just think there's better options out there. We're going to game three. That's what I mean. This acid moss, it's like land destruction when you need it. Just like a kind of like a pithing needle. Just tink, just just irritating enough to make you want to play duress and then look at a handful of creatures. I feel if you can manage to get a few acid moss earlier on pestilence, you're in a good place. Oh, those are very true words, Captain Vlad Tepes of the Vampire Persuasion. Alrighty. Well. Did we miss anything? Sorry for the knuckle crack. It's kind of a staple here. Calming verse. Uh, that, that I think two's about right. Well, I'm going to see them late. And I uh, can get around a duress or two. So let's just rock on through. Some more LD on the side would be good too, says Nimchimsky. Yeah, you could probably go with that uh, two drop one that draws you a card. That might be worthy of it. But again, it ain't broke, guys. I'm not fixing nothing. Until I run up against a matchup, and then I'll start scratching my head and doing some stuff. But Okay, well, we've got another good hand here. We'll keep this. Don't want to see a duress here because of the uh, sprawl combo, but have to probably have a, a disfigure in hand, which is a bad card against this list except for, like, the Arbor Elf or combat tricks. We saw that too, so. Yeah, like I said, I'm... 
I have so many times I've I've spent seriously hundreds of hours on some of my designs, like things like uh, Brute Squad, Boros Bully, or Rally Gone, and such. And people just and that's part of the nature of the game. They want to they want to change it, but at least play it. And that's that's kind of what I'm, I'm doing the service of to Tomato Cheese here, MTGO handle online, and uh, just playing it as is, seeing seeing how the cards fall. And so far, they are falling beautifully. All right. Yes, it is a lot of fun. Ah, big error there. Lead off with the elf. If you're new to this list, if we top deck Acid Moss and they use a Karoo land here, we just enchant with one of the forests and then untap it and get four mana, and then it's just probably Scoopsville. So we'll see. Hey, am I preordaining the future? Shall we foretell what's about to happen? I hope I'm uh, being clairvoyant. Yeah, this is this is one of my favorite uh, gruelists ever. It's just nice to see gruel actually become a thing, right? All right, well, we didn't get super lucky there, but we got kind of lucky. We'll at least draw a card. We'll say we've already got red, so I'm just going to say, eh, we'll say red. Let's be pure about it. We'll do this to this to this, and then we'll draw a card. So I think I'm just going to put Ponza. I think that's pretty much uh, what most people are calling these lists. This guy's really uh, impressed, too. That three toughness and power is, is no joke. It's, uh, I mean, look at this next turn. They've got to kind of deal with the board, which will probably cost them their turn. And then down come the dinos. Yeah, Nimchimsky, I ran into a bit of that... Um, it was funny too, though, because I top of the show I mentioned it was a Tron player. He was like giving me a hard time about playing it. I'm like, really? You're staring across Urza's tower, telling people that what they're playing is is too OP. I'm like, all right. Talk about calling the kettle black or whatever that phrase is. Interesting choice. Usually a little too late. Come on, Acid Moss. Just about anything other than maybe like a basic. All right, they gained some life. That's what's really keeping a minute. We've only got seven minutes. I better shut up and try to win this thing here, right? All right, well, we can do that. We'll play this. We'll put the ugly thing on this, diversify our hits, since our elf is out of the question. We'll draw into another card, going like this, and just uh, play it. Boop. That three toughness, always relevant. The rest gets turned on a little bit here, but not too much. As so we're just going to play a dinosaur next turn, and we've got Edict Bait, so your land taps for too much mana. <laughs> hey, if you're going to use a baby, use the Moon Cheese Baby. <laughs> That's quite a few emotes, though. Speaking of Moon Cheese Baby, we've got the uh, astronaut skit coming up. I just I'm going to go to a, roll to one of our classic commercials with courtesy of the Upright Citizens Brigade in a theater of long ago, talking about prejudice against astronauts. It's a very funny skit. As I grab some coffee, do some things, and we'll be back to play the very last round of this just bone crusher of a list. Man. Hey, hey, Brandon and Popper with the emote love. If you reverse it, it looks like I'm screaming it at a uh, little fight. So I guess that's the kind way. <laughs> I would have if I could afford to donate such a Ross. I'm with you, my friend. Yeah, we were, like I said, we were playing darts the other night and talking about just, uh, especially here in California, this, this lockdown is just so oppressive. It's slowly coming up a little bit, but man, oh man. Kids are finally going to go back to school just right at the end of the school year, probably get like three weeks in, and then it's summertime. It's like, oh, did I miscount that? I sure did. I'm a dummy. I keep thinking that's six. All right. Well, we'll just do this. Boop. I guess we'll call red. Blop. And attack. Get them to 15 here. That ain't so bad. Maybe they're stuck on like uh, I don't know. They probably do have removal. They, oh, check that out. Okay, well, that's going to hurt. Bam. There's some nice tech against this list. Forgot about that card. But we still hit for 6. And we can still almost cast that because this deck doesn't try to cheat too much stuff out. It's just a very Consistent, honest build. Very slow and steady. Uh, not slow. Gosh, 
I think uh, we could have a record fast stream if this keeps up. Oh, okay. Keep... God, we really want an acid moss here. Come on. They're going to just start eking back to life, and we're probably going to run out of time. I feel like we're greatly favored in this matchup, but I'm just a chatterbox. So. Yeah, clapped and Vlad Tepes. I just simply forgot. I'm a little punch drunk with this list. Just feels so OP that I'm just turning things sideways and being like, what? What are you going to do? But apparently they can do some pretty cool stuff. We'll leave no trace. But one more mana and we're back in this. But our deck's not doing us too many favors. Let's see. Two, four, five, six. Haha, -ha, I love when that happens. Thank you for that, Brandon the Popper. But the... Uh, Compliments go to tom Tomato Cheese Online. He's a pretty consistent player. Seen quite a few cool builds, and I liked his the best. So, Duress is bad against you. <laughs> well, yeah, sometimes. I mean, if that was an Acid Moss that we just top deck or something, that would be pretty sweet. But right now, I'm happy to draw this. Come on, Acid Moss. Always yield. Let's see what we get. Lightning Bolt. All right. Pop. Such an unfair list. Oh, and it has haste. So let's come over for nine. And let's not forget, life, life, life again. So that's six life they've gained. And they're at two now. I would like to get about seven Kaczynski, but um, only if it's convenient, my friend. But hit me up after, and bam, there we go. All right, guys. I want to call this thing Wrecking Ball, which would actually fit in the sideboard. That'd be pretty funny to use, but uh, I don't know what... Uh, this might be a problem. I'm playing this very casually, talking mile a minute, as you all know, and uh, boom. Oh, Punk Toast 82 Doobie says, I finally finished my popper cube, wanted to have it white-bordered lands to pull for full tilt effect, but I didn't have enough. <laughs> oh, yeah, good. Speaking of white borders... We're going to pull one of these, baby. Woo! In fact, I'll roll with that first, and then we'll go to the commercial as I, you can check out this uh, Which Card Shall Burn. Back in a bit. Don't go anywhere. Woo! talking, of course, about prejudice against astronauts. <laughs> Please, laugh. It helps the healing. Now, as we all know, NASA been has been sending... If for man to walk on the moon, then we had been born a cement feet. I agree. My community does not need astronauts to find gravity in front of my children. That's right. Driving their moon buggies through our neighborhoods all time and night. Playing that theme to 2001 really loud on their Cosmo blasters. Folks... Astro-Nazis. This is a perfect example of what's going on. There is a serious cultural clash in this country. So in the spirit of opening those lines of communication, I'd like to introduce you all right now to a real astronaut, Lieutenant Mike Birchwood. Mike, come on up, Mike. Do you mind coming up here and give me a hand? Do. Watch out! He'll try to stick an American flag in you! That's not all he'll stick in I mean, you! Look, just because I've spent some time outside the Earth's gravitational pull doesn't mean that I'm different than you! They can't eat normal food and they're addicted to tang! That's not true. I drink tang because I like the taste. You like the taste of recycled urine! That's completely insane! Astronauts eat breakfast upside down! I have only eaten breakfast upside down two or three times since I got back from my last mission. You folks better watch out. They're covered in astro germs. Just last year, an astronaut moved into my neighborhood. Simultaneously, all the leaves started dying and falling off our oak trees. Was that month October? September, October. Yeah, it's called fall. It happens every year. Now sit down. Mike Birchwood is a man, just like you and I. A man who'd probably like nothing more than to settle down, meet a nice woman, raise a family. But the problem is, most women are afraid to touch me. That's right, ladies. He'd make you infertile on account his sperms from another time continue on. I will not fornicate with you. With your juicy astronaut lips and your firm astronaut buttocks. I think there are several issues going on here. I would gladly trade all of my walks on the moon for the simple caress of a woman. I will not touch your bottom. Stop 
begging me! Who's begging you? We don't need no moon cheese baby! What the hell is a moon cheese baby? He's talking about how the moon is supposedly made of cheese. Regardless, how would you end up with a baby made out of it? Uh. You tell us! Attention, Papaganda Knights. Show your love of all things Papa with our Ultra Deluxe Playmax. And true to our Papa roots, the glorious artwork is 100% free. The accoutrement that you will need. Accoutrement? What is that? Just send an email to propaganda at gmail.com with the subject 1, 2, or 3, and we'll send you the playmat pile for free. All you need to do is visit our friends at inkgaming.com. Order yours today. And we're back playing the dreaded crunch smash dino as we see the moon cheese baby. My favorite UCB sketch is Adopt a Highway. I don't know. Oh, you know what? Dreamer Stringo, I can't find that one anywhere. I have an old VHS tape in storage somewhere. And there's this really high tech machine called a VCR, and I don't think I can find that one either. <laughs> but um, yeah, that. That show just kept getting better and better and better, and then it just went away, and I was uh, so so tripped out. But after the show, if you don't mind, Kaczynski, or maybe sometime later today, whatever's easiest for you. I don't like to usually trade during a show, though, so please, uh, we'll see. But so we're four and zero. Oh. We've really seen the meta game: Demir, Burn, um, is it fairies and pestilence? So maybe like elves or uh, walls would be a probably a pretty good matchup but you know we do have the wrath against that both of those lists but um yeah it seems like that well hearing someone who plays popper talk about a vcr makes me think of my neo luddite self very nice <laughs> thank you for that kaczynski appreciated yeah i feel like i should warn people like what we're playing because of the the preponderance of this list and just how heavy-handed it can be i know i run into it a lot but i, I take it as a challenge but and i did so with tron for a long time too but yeah we want to play first all right, we'll keep this. Boop -ba -doom. But after, what, 10, 15 years, it feels like, of trying to fight against Tron, I just, that's mostly the reason I kind of stepped away from leagues. Steady league play, I should say. All right, plus my son's just using up all my time, damn it. This thing called being a dad. He's always wanting to play Magic. I'm getting kind of into Commander. He is making me a much better player. My son is way better at rules than I am. Most people are. Um, so he'll explain to me a lot of times, like, oh, wait, the stack goes like this in that scenario, and this card doesn't work there. Or actually, if you do it this way, it's better. And then, you know, he beats that into my head enough times, and I'm slowly learning cool little things and legacy tricks and uh, commanders such and such. So we used to use pay phones, too. Anybody remember 10-10-3-2-1? For the longest time in the late 90s, they had this silly thing before cell phones were in everybody's pocket where they tried to make you use um, some sort of credit card, something or other. And if you use that code before the number, then you got a discount. And it was just, it was everywhere. It's like you turn on the TV anymore and you see all these 5G commercials. It was about that frequency. It was crazy. Whoa, my phone number was four digits in the 80s. Shirazamon, the old school. Getting down and cool. All right. So we're a little mana screw, but make no mistake, the visionary is, shows up and saves the day. So we can just acid moss or pack mate or whatever the hell we want to do. This list is mean. <laughs> Sorry for the uh, fizz. I should have taken more carbonation out of that uh, Coke Zero. If you're hearing, uh, those aren't applause in the background, it's carbonation. And when you had to flap your arms to fly. <laughs> yeah, I still remember all of my old, um, like in grade school, all my friends' numbers. Because you used to just, you know, have to, how often do you just, like even my my sons, I don't know their phone number. I just say, you know, call so-and-so. And, -so and uh, I wonder what synapses in my brain are being used instead of that now. Strange, strange to think about. Uh, Land Destruction isn't that good against this kind of a list, but I just want it for the ramp. So I'm just going to do this here. We're going to go grab a Highland Forest and pass the turn. Oh, all right. Well, quick submission there. I'm just going to put green something as we put down a, one of many never-ending W's with this list. I think if, uh, yeah, I think this is right around. Oh, all right, I'll play another one, guys. That's just, uh, This thing's just... Wrecking Ball is a really good name for this deck. 
Good lordy. So we'll play a six. I think the deck's still new to the metagame for people that just kind of auto run away from it, but it is, as we're seeing, pretty damn OP. So, yeah, ramping in LD. It's funny, too, because people, you know, you'll get some rage quitters that'll be like, oh, I don't want to play Land Destruction. It's like, it's not. It, it has four spells that do that, but it's for the uh, switcheroo benefit of being a uh, ramp deck in disguise, I guess. Not really a disguise, really. It's pretty obvious. But So we got a bit of a slow hand here. That is a forest, so our sprawls are relevant. But, man, this is clunky. I think I'm going to ship this. I don't really want to use these till mid to late, unless this is a Fey matchup. And then these are all requiring forest. We've only got one. If this was a four, I'm going to mulligan this. Let's see what we get here. All right, I'll keep that. I'll throw back a lightning bolt, believe it or not. Oop, I mean, we're going to put flashback. I miss going to lunch at Woolworths. <laughs> oh, very nice. I love uh, Oh Brother, Where Art Thou? It's one of my favorite, favorite movies. I wouldn't put it in the top 10, but it's definitely in my top 100. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool, Shiraz. Ooh, we got a nice little weenie build here. Then I put back a forest. I should have put back a lightning bolt. But I'm glad I didn't now that it looks like we're up against some cool little uh, fey list here. Speaking of a white weenie, um, the user um, Resident Zombie, I think that's his online handle, has a really cool Angels build. And it's he's been tweaking it for like a year or two. And he plays it really well. One of these... You know, this is such a dominant outing. Maybe we'll play something really rogue next week and go 1-4 or whatever, but as is our way. Don't like to get too ahead of ourselves with playing spiky builds and such, but it's nice to showcase them here and there. Mix it up. You'll never see us usually... Usually you won't see us play a deck back-to-back. -back. We did it... I think we did it with uh, Tribe because it was just so explosive and new and like, aha! And I was really making the argument for uh, Four Gushes at the time, which... Everyone disagreed with me on. Except Green Printy. He's He fought me for about an hour online, and then he came around. Okay. Well, there I'm a bit mana screwed. If our red shows up, we're going to be able to put up a pretty good fight here. <sighs> or an elf shows up. Just about anything shows up here. You know, the purist in me looks at this list and you're just like, are you kidding me? Four Altasaurs? That seems like I'm going to be staring at it in our opener hand. And we well, kind of want to. But this is one of our one of our worst draws. Still in it, though. Bolt the bird. I will if I can. It'll peck us to death. I've been wanting to make, uh, I think it's Imperial Armor. One and two white. For every card in your hand, the creature gets plus one one. I've been trying to make that card work for so long, using things like uh, oh, what's that mechanic uh, where you return all sweep or or I think it's called sweep, where you return a bunch of basics to your hand and such. But can't really get it to go. Well, we might draw something relevant here, so we'll bring this tier. We'll call red. We've got four, five, six. All right. Three, four, five, six. We're still about two turns away from that, but not sure if it's worthy of a bolt yet. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll bolt a bird here. Watch him have some awesome instant that makes it hit even harder. But so we just eat two mana. You know, if mana screw or um, mana flare, what was that called? The mana burn was back. This this deck might. It might keep this a little bit more in check, but anybody else out there miss Mana Burn? I, th I thought that was a neat idea, theme and stuff. I know it was bad for beginners and stuff, but whoa, whoa, whoa. I mean, we're going to... Everybody's chatting here all of a sudden. Bolt the bird. Thought through radio. That's the one. Yeah. I used that incredibly unsuccessfully on one of the streams, I believe, with like four or five versions ago of White Infect. I was trying to make uh, something come of it, and... Uh, that was a pretty bad crash and burn day, if memory serves. But I'm just going to do this now. Boop, bam. I'll keep the air power away. I mean, if I wasn't doing that, <laughs> we could easily be at around uh, 11 or 10 before we get our dino online here. Oh, man, now they got journey mana. Oh, well. Yeah. 
Yeah, the white shadow creatures. It's funny looking through all these cards. My son, you know, he's building. Kid's such a good designer, but um, every other card I look at, you know, it's usually on commons and such, and I'll be like, oh, that could be downgraded a popper. And he's like, Dad, you say that about everything. And I'm like, well, it's kind of true. All right, let's cascade. We've paid the bills long enough. Boink. Click here. Click very slowly because this little window pops up. Boop. Hey, that's pretty cool. We'll keep them on us there, and we'll go get another red land as we really put the brakes on the turning sideways game here. All right. But if you're new to this channel or whatnot, man, go over to YouTube and uh, check out our playlists and such if you want to have a nice uh, outing. Well, I think this is kind of a common thing where people forget that this has reach. This deck kind of has everything. I think that's the problem. All right, there we go. I don't miss my brother mana, mana burning himself on his turn so I could not kill him the next turn. <laughs> we'll say white weenie. And we'll go to ah the match. All right, guys, I guess I'll call it there. Going to sevens. We're gonna, we'll go over the list here and show you as that was the 20th game in a row that I won with this match because that was six. I had 14 before that. It's no hyperbole, no exaggeration. Uh, I've never lost with this list. It's ridiculous. Um, there's got to be a hole in it. I just haven't played it enough to find out what it is. You can look to the sideboard probably or, or hit up tomato cheese and such. But um, yeah, it's, you know what? Let's take a pause though. And I know Nim Chimsky doesn't like this list. And, you know, I, I, I see where he's coming from. I've run into it a, a bit often, but it's so much better than running into mono black when you're in the tournament room or uh, or Tron still. And let's give Gruul its day in the sun for a little bit, right? I mean, this is the combo, maybe other than Rakdos, that really has never seen Popper love consistently. It's just, you know, even now, people are trying to shove blue into it and uh, go that route. But it's uh, this, this list is just a killer. I there's a reason I wasn't going to change a thing. I played it as is, and it kept winning, and we saw today it just keeps winning again. So, yeah, we've got, um, what is this? Um, it's, uh, da -da 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 -da. we've got six minus 20 is, okay, so 14 forests, uh, three highland forests, and three mountains rounds out our mana curve. Hold on a second. Never lost a match or a game. Oh, I mean a match, yeah. We we lost uh, one game to burn, courtesy of Little Fight in the chat, or co-host extraordinaire and then the first game against pestilence but everything else was a w and you know i was just being a chatterbox and no offense to little fight i did keep a one lander against burn it was getting a little arrogant with uh, how good the deck is so i was like let's just see if it can pull through this it wasn't able to but it almost does everything else uh go with the old lights uh, old school lightning bolt by christopher rush love this one we got four arbor elves four sprawls four gross four ornaments feels like overkill but this is ramp and as we saw against the pestilence list we drew like 20 cards with these combos uh we got two visionaries the entourage of trust two spot there as well four boarding parties four of the uh altasaur sure wish that had a different creature type and artwork but what are you going to do hey is that a harpy it's attacking or no it's just a creature with wings looks like equipment on a human maybe a core i don't know uh we've got the pack mate which also draws a card and then uh, a little bit of ramp mixed with land destruction mixed with uh, mana fixing and such so yeah Alrighty, or the opposite. Yeah. Anyway, y'all. So we'll be back next week, probably with a much more rogue esque list that won't be as dominant. But that's what we're all here for—to explore, find things out, and such. So, uh, yeah, you know, I was thinking of even bringing up, uh, kind of having an old school week where maybe I play the very original build of Boros Bully and see how it does. You know, with the uh, raise the alarm and. Uh, the life gaining cats instead of the uh, Theraban inspectors and such. It was a lot more um, organic to the whole uh, faithless looting plan, but obviously we saw how fate treated that, and it definitely seems like it's improved since. But it's always fun to go back in time. Sometimes you find little gems and you revisit stuff. That's why I have so many uh, decks here. Uh, most of these are on purpose when, when I have a deck that's offline because... Um, I'll put like 17 cards in the sideboard or I mean 16 and, and leave it because it's just a little note to self on what I need to work on. But, um, so yeah, these are, uh, 
It's quite a few to go for. So if you're wondering too, this is one, another neat little trick. I know Shiraz Ron liked it, but if you're wondering why this is all these underscores here, it shows up when you relaunch Magic. If you rename your favorite list with a bunch of underscores, it'll show up at the top. And so if you're like me and you have 10,000 decks and you're always brewing, you just kind of rename them and move the dashes. And it's almost like a rating system, right? So if there's a ton of dashes, I know it's a really good deck. And if I bring it back, then all that. So yeah, anyway, I will admit I don't watch the stream enough, but it's good when I do every time. Thank you so much for the love, Brandon the Popper, and thank you for all the subs and everything. And uh, yeah, it's just uh, nice to have you all with us. And um, we'll see you same time, same place next week on Pop Again. I'm going to roll to a few things here. But until then, uh, keep on popping and uh, go find a solution for this because it's a killer. Adios, everybody. Woo! Action, please. Action awesome, please. Can you just do anything? No, it's a, sorry, cut. Yeah, rolling. 102, take two. Ah, the French champagne has always been celebrated for its excellence. There is a California champagne by Paul Masson, inspired by that same French excellence. It's fermented in the bottle, and like the best French champagne, it's vintage dated. Cut. So, Paul Masson. 102, take three. Action, please. Ah, the French champagne has always been celebrated for its excellence. There is a California champagne by Paul Masson, inspired by that same French excellence. It's fermented in the bottle, and like the best French champagne, it's vintage, dated. So Cut. Paul Masson. I move for no man. So be it. Now stand aside, worthy adversary. Tis but a scratch. A scratch? Your arm's off. No, it isn't. Well, what's that, then? I've heard worse. You liar! Come on, you pansy! <laughs> Victory is mine!